Hello, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope you're all doing fine. Today, I am so excited to share with you some interesting information. Because we have AutoCAD 2020 released, which is the latest and the best AutoCAD ever. In this tutorial video, I would like to share with you some cool new features of this version of AutoCAD. When you explore the features, you can see that some features are as cool as enhancement in the interface, but certain features will help you save a lot of time and effort. So let's start our exploration of the cool new features. But before we move on, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. So let's get started. Before exploring the various features of AutoCAD 2020, let's see the system configuration required to install the software. AutoCAD 2020 needs an operating system of Windows 10 64-bit or Windows 8.1 updated 32 or 64-bit or Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 installed with 32 or 64-bit operating system. AutoCAD 2020 needs basic processor speed of 2.5 to 2.9 GHz and the recommended processor speed of 3 plus gigahertz. Basic memory requirement is 8 GB and the recommended requirement is 16 GB. This software needs a display resolution of Full HD that is 1920 by 1080 pixels and it also supports 4K resolution that is 3840 by 2160 and it is supported only in Windows 10 64-bit operating system. The software needs a display card with a basic graphic memory of 1 GB with 29 Gbps bandwidth and it can perform well in a graphic card with a display memory of 4 GB with 106 Gbps bandwidth. In both cases, DirectX 11 should be installed. And you need at least 6 GB of hard space to install AutoCAD 2020. AutoCAD can also be installed in the Mac platform. Please visit Autodesk website to get the system configuration. Now let's move on to some of the cool new features of this new release. Performance Enhancement Autodesk has revamped the software engine of AutoCAD and the overall performance of the software is improved. AutoCAD 2020 can be installed 50% faster in solid state hard disks or SSDs. In fact, such SSDs are highly recommended over conventional magnetic hard disks. A file in AutoCAD 2020 can be saved in half a second which previously used to take 1.5 seconds. Hence you can save significant amount of time when you save a file several times using controllers over and over again. New Interface Color Theme When you switch over to AutoCAD 2020 from older releases, you can make out a new interface color theme and that is a dark blue theme which is more soothing to the eye. This interface is primarily made up of solid colors and you won't see gradients anywhere. Let's take a quick comparison of these two interfaces. Now it's obvious that the dark theme is more simple, crisp and clear. The contextual tabs are also highlighted in the new interface. For example, when you work in the older releases of AutoCAD, if you select a hash pattern and when you look at the contextual tab, which is the hatch editor tab, it remains in the normal color and is not highlighted. But if you perform the same selection of hatch in 2020, you can see that the hatch editor contextual tab is highlighted with a blue background color, which will let you easily locate the tab. Quick measure tool. In AutoCAD 2020, we have a quick measure tool, which will let you measure dimensions, distances and angles by simply keeping the mouse on the top of objects as well as between objects. Let's see this feature. Now click on the measure command, here you can see the quick dimension. Now take the cursor somewhere over here. Now you can get the distance between edge of the wall as well as this particular edge of this table. Take for example, you want to get the dimension of this table, all you have to do is just keep the cursor over there, you will get the dimensions. This will help you save a lot of time and effort. Previously, we used to either dimension an object or you have to make use of the distance command to get these valuable informations. And this tool is really helpful while designing site plans, elevations, machine drawings, etc. Efficient Blocks Palette 
In 2020, we have an efficient blocks palette. You can access that palette by clicking on the view tab. Then here we have a blocks command. Just click on that. This palette is just like any other palette in AutoCAD. You can take it to any convenient location or you can dock it to a particular location. Now here you can see the list of all the blocks you have in the current drawing. And this is nothing but a new version of the insert dialog box and you can see all the parameters which is available in the insert dialog box. You can specify the insertion point, scale factor, rotation angle and you can also repeat the placement to have multiple insertions of the same block. Now I'm going to insert a soft facet on this hole. So you can just scroll down to see the soft facet and I'll just drag it and you can keep it at this convenient location. Now I would like to have a double seater sofa inserted on this wall face. So instead of dragging I am going to double click on the sofa and I'll make a click over here to insert at this midpoint. Okay now you will see a rotation handle appearing because the rotation option is turned on. Now make a click to insert there. Now I can have one more insertion of the same block because the repeat placement is turned on and I'll keep it on this wall face. Now the rotation handle works, make a click there to insert. Likewise you can have as many insertions as you want because repeat placement is turned on. Now I'm going to give an escape to exit out of this insert mode. Similarly you can turn on the scale to activate the scale factor while you insert. We have a reason tab in this palette. When you click on that you will see the recently inserted blocks in the drawing. And you have other drawings tab. When you click on this tab you can see the blocks of other drawings as well. In fact, this was a feature of AutoCAD Design Center. That means in this palette, Design Center feature is also incorporated. So if you want, you can just click on any other drawing to get the blocks from there. For example, I'll click on this drawing and give open to see the blocks in that drawing. I can either drag drop these blocks to get the blocks inserted as such or else I can just double click and change the parameter flexibly the way I have done before. I can even open a new drawing file and the blocks palette will remain there and you can access all these blocks in that new drawing and, and insert at required locations. In fact this was a function of tool palettes. If you are not familiar with the tool palettes please click on the link provided at the upper right corner as well as at the description section of this video. Using the filter option in this palette you can easily locate the exact block that you are looking for. For example I want to locate the bed. So just click over here and you can type bed. Now you have located the bed. Now I want to locate all the blocks which starts with door. So I'll give door then star and you can locate all those blocks. Hence this filter option can be productively used. Blocks palette is a powerful interface in AutoCAD 2020 which is a combination of insert dialog box tool palettes and design center interface. Improved drawing compare tool. In 2019 version of AutoCAD, Autodesk has introduced the all new drawing compare feature using which you can compare the current drawing with its original version so that you will get an idea about the changes you have made in the current drawing. In 2020, they have taken this concept to a different level. To access drawing compare feature, you can click on the application button then drawing utilities here you will get drawing compare or else you can click on the collaborate tab here you have the dwg compare feature now just click on that now i'm going to select this particular drawing which is the original file and i'll give open now the area wherein you have made the changes are highlighted in a different color and it is surrounded by these shapes Suppose if you want to zoom on to those areas to get a clear cut idea, you can just click on this right arrow as well as left arrow to move backwards. You can turn off the drawing compare feature if you want temporarily and you can turn it on. You can also capture a snapshot of this particular screen as a separate drawing by clicking on this button. So you can export a snapshot and you can continue and this particular screen will be saved as a separate drawing and I'll click on save. Now this is a separate file and it starts with compare and the whole drawing will remain as a block. Another interesting aspect of this feature is that it can be performed in real time. 
For example, if I stretch this window through a distance of 50 units leftward, let's see what happens. So I'll give stretch command and I'll select this area using a crossing window. I'll choose this as a base point and I'll turn my ortho mode on. Then I'll type the distance 50. The software has instantly highlighted this area in real time to indicate a change from the current drawing. Now I'll just click on this green tick mark to exit out of the DWG compare mode. Redesigned purge tool. You know that purge tool can be used to clean up the drawing. That means to reduce the file size of a drawing. It can be used to delete unused blocks, layers, dimension styles, etc. In 2020, this tool is redesigned with some additional features and cleanup options. The purge tool is available in manage tab. And here you have purge. And in this interface, you can see the purgeable items as well as you can find non-purgeable items. So the purgeable item area is similar to the purge dialog box in the older releases with some differences. And on the right side, you can purge zero length geometry, empty text objects and orphan data. Cleaning up such data was a bit difficult in the older releases of the software. When you look at the purgeable items area, you can see that you have certain blocks that can be purged because these blocks are not used in the drawings. And here you have some additional checkboxes which will let you conveniently select the blocks to be purged. Now let's take a look at the find non-purgeable items. Here you will see blocks and other items. Now just click on this blocks and I'll choose a particular blocks for example sofa 1. It will show you the preview of that particular block and you can resize this preview area so that you can see it more clearly and it will show you the possible reasons why it cannot be purged because it's already inserted in the drawing. It will also show you some additional details such as its file size impact on the drawing and its usage count. It's used twice in the drawing and it is inserted in the layer furniture. Using the zoom icon, you can zoom into that block so that you will get an idea about the location of that block and the block will be shown magnified and highlighted in the drawing. Now I'll give an enter to go back to the same dialog box Similarly, you can click on the layers and choose any desired layer. For example, I'll choose this door layer and it will show you the number of objects in the door layer as well as the file size impact of the number of objects in this layer. And these are all blocks which are inserted in this layer. I'll choose a particular block. For example, this D1. I'll just click on zoom icon and it will show you all the selected blocks in that layer. Now, I'll double click on this particular door and you can do some additional activity such as changing its layer from the door layer to door partition wall layer. Hence I can change the layer of a selected object in a particular layer in a more convenient manner. Hence the purge tool in 2020 gives some extra functionality to manage and clean up your drawing. Microsoft and Box Integration Now you can work online in AutoCAD and store your file directly in the cloud so that you can open and save the file from anywhere from any device. This is done using the AutoCAD web and mobile app. Please click on the link provided at the upper right corner as well as at the description section of this video if you are not familiar with the mobile app of AutoCAD. In 2020, Autodesk has partnered with Microsoft and Box and you can save your drawing files in Microsoft OneDrive and Box. These files can be opened using AutoCAD web app which virtually runs in any browser as well as by using AutoCAD mobile app. So you don't need AutoCAD software installed in your machine to open, edit, review and share your drawing files and hence you can achieve higher productivity. So that's all for now. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel SabirCAD. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic, bye bye and take care, may God bless you all.